Greetings, survivors and friends. Shadowfax here with your weekly update, pointing you in the direction of what's new in Rust, if that's okay. This week, there are some new features for you to test on the staging branch, but first, please harvest the subscribe button to support the channel. It's free, and you can always dump me later. So, over on staging right now, and then on all servers once the forced wipe happens on April the 1st, and yes, it is actually happening on that day, you can play card games in Rust. Well, one. Currently Texas Hold'em, second only in popularity to Top Trumps, so the team are obviously playing it safe here, but I believe there will be more in future, one day. Maybe. Actually, must Top Trumps sounds fun. Or raid your neighbour. As you can see, there's been a bit of a feng shui effort in the dredge, gone are the messy tables in the main room, and in their place is one large table that can hold up to four card sharps, then next door you'll find another that seats six, a three-seater at the building supplies vendor, and lastly a more intimate two-person table at the product exchange. These are the only places to officially get your poker fix, although admins can technically spawn working tables with the commands shown on screen right now. So, how do they work? Well, as far as the rules go, you can look those up. A tutorial on how to play poker is beyond the remit of this video. Just make sure you've got a poker face like me. You must have two players to start. This isn't solitaire. Punters can join and leave partway through a game though, but must wait for the next hand to actually take part. When you sit down, you have to open the small stash in front of you which brings up the UI something that I'm sure is placeholder and thus subject to change. It'll probably get replaced with a stack of chips or a bottle of whiskey and a packet of biscuits or something, and you must insert at least 100 scrap to buy in. After that, you should be able to figure the rest out. As I say, poker skills are yours to acquire. Once you leave a game, whatever scrap you still have is put back in your pockets. There are also a number of key binds for common actions such as F for fold, R for raise, and A for all in. You also get your own chat channel when playing. Just try not to pay attention to the phantom cards floating under the chairs, or the fact that yours might be back to front. Nothing to see here. Now, if you've had a thought like, but what about if? then it's probably that the team have already thought of it and put a safeguard in place. But you never know, you've got a week to try and break it. Let's just take a moment to appreciate the card designs though, and hope that one day these are offered as merch. Talking of scrap, the slot machine payouts are also being simplified and reordered, and knowing casinos, this probably isn't in your favour. In the other big news this week, gestures are now much easier to use on staging, thanks to the B key now bringing up a gesture pie menu. Mmm, <coughs> not the usual type of pie menu I like, but it'll do. With this, you can quickly choose to wave, clap, point out your friend's inadequacies, or try to convince people that you're not a threat. <laughs> Lol. And some of you are probably thinking, where's that favourite gesture of mine that I like to do at people? Well, this is what you've got, kiddo. Also, you may notice that by default, all single-handed gestures are done with the left hand, but there's a reason for this, and it's not because the animator is a southpaw, it's basically because you've usually got a tool or weapon in your right hand. Not that it'll show when you're gesturing, but if you do prefer being sinister in-game, you can always flip the view model over with graphics.vm horizontal flip, then your gestures will be done with the right hand instead. In other news, there's been an update from Double Eleven regarding the console beta, how the stress test's been going, and what their intentions are leading up to the release. Worth a read, so I'll leave a link in the description for you. There's plenty more work going on with AI, the HDRP backport, and more tweaks to Happis Island. Also, they've done a pass to fix some typos. Ooh, does this mean they fixed rechargeable batteries? Well, kind of. They got the large one, but the others are still totally rechargeable. Oh, that's good to know. Also, also, did you notice that road signs weren't casting shadows? Well, they are again now. And you'll notice that in the options menu under censorship, you can now turn off blood. Lovely. Lastly, the mysterious contact system has been getting more commits, including a lot of talk about mugshots. And now I'm hungry. More news on exactly what this entails when I have it. Follow me on Twitch, where I stream things, leave a like and a comment, and join me over on Twitter, Facebook, Discord, and my Steam group to stay up to date with my content, support me on Patreon, and buy some merch. All my links are in the description and pinned comment. I shall catch you all soon, but in the meantime, keep calm and stay rusty. Cheerio! This video is powered by AWDIT's producer range of workstation PCs, available now at awdit.co.uk. Nothing to see here.